Well, police are dealing with an emotional and troubling case as they work to identify a teenage girl found dead and burned. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann is live near Washington and Rainbow with how officers are working with neighbors to make some headway in this investigation. David. Police found the girl's body right here, and they believe this is where the body was burned, too, because of the scorch marks on the wall. Our 13 Action News crime and safety expert told me even for seasoned homicide detectives, the emotion of a case like this gets to them, and it makes them work that much harder to solve it. This sketch Metro Police released of the victim is all we know of the girl. Unsuspecting neighbors found her this weekend. What is it, Alan? The chances of solving a murder diminish as time ticks away. So to kickstart the investigation, Metro partnered with a church to meet with neighbors and just talk. It shows the, the, the humanness and is a, a really good idea when it comes down to um, uh, you know, being flexible and, and being creative in crime solving. Someone may have seen something significant, and police will never find out if they don't have a strong relationship with the community. The people who live in the complex appreciated the officers' efforts, too. I thought it was a great thing. It was nice. I met neighbors I hadn't met before. We were able to all talk about what had happened. Experts say there can be barriers between a police department and its citizens. This showed neighbors, in very real terms, how much the officers care. Many of these, these police officers and detectives, they're fathers. You know, they see a young girl like this, and they see the destruction and the, and the cruelty, and it, it can't help but, but to affect these, these men and women. It's disturbing. It's very disturbing. Look how close it is from where the body was found to the homes in the complex. Our expert says that's even more reason for police to hold that community event last night. The thinking is someone must have seen or heard something. Reporting live, David Schumann, 13 Action News.